Good afternoon, guys. It's a uh, round about two o'clock in the afternoon in Holland, and um, I'm ready to do my next pour. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using for the first time. I will be using. Let me get it up here because it has a very short uh, wire on it. I will be using this one, the heat tool. So I'm going to try that. And I'm going to be doing something else, what is pretty new. That is using one of these. Like I said, I asked my uh, husband if he would uh, do that for me. Cut it out, and he did, but I see there's some dust inside. So I'm going to clean it out just a little bit. We don't want all that dust in the paint. I uh, mixed up some paint, as you can see. It's all uh, Windsor & Newton Galeria. And I have um, read a couple of comments about people saying, Oh boy, now I got all the Windsor and Newton and now you're changing brand again. Well, I won't, I won't be uh, doing, uh, I won't put this one out. The, the Windsor and uh, Newton is beautiful paint. And I will never uh, really replace it. What you'll see me doing in the uh, upcoming days is do a lot of experiments with the Vallejo um, uh, fluids, but I will also be um, uh, practicing with some of the Vallejo um, studio acrylics. Let me get them, if I can find them. Oh Okay, sorry for that, but I thought I'd just show you the difference before a lot of people buy paints that they shouldn't be buying or make a mistake. So what you see here is the um, acrylic studio. This you can um, compare with the Windsor & Newton because this is thick uh, paint. It's like Windsor & Newton. You need pouring medium to uh, make it fluid. But it is, it is beautiful paint. It is, really is. I love the colors. So this is the acrylic studio. But what I am going to be selling is... Well, maybe I'll sell that too, who knows. But this is the one that I'm waiting for. And this is the acrylic artist fluid colors. So, can you hear it? It's, uh, it's fluid. And it, there's a lot of pigment in here. You can see it. It's... Um, I just can't wait to use it. But it's not looking like I'm gonna get it today, so who knows. But if I do, even if it's like tonight, eight o'clock or something, I'll be giving you a video because I'm gonna try it. Now, back to uh, this. This, I don't know if you've seen all my videos, some of you have. Um, way back in the time, like some of my first videos, I did uh, something similar to this. I had one of these pipes, they were a little bit longer, uh, I put them on the canvas, I filled them all up with paint, and then I put my mouth over here and I blew the paint out of it. And if you want to see one of those videos, go to the search page and um, fill in pressure, because I did two videos showing paint in the tube and blowing it out, and I got some very pretty re results. <coughs> So, um, that's sort of similar as this. Only this week I saw Andy Drop, the same inventor of the corner catcher. I saw him do some, or her, I gotta ask, is it him or her? So I saw them do, um, put the paint in and then pull it up a little bit. And then the paint comes out and fill it again, pull it up, paint comes out. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. And then show you how that works. So the colors I have, this is titanium white, but I put in a couple of drops of the Van Dyke Brown just to make it like a little bit like a Titan Buff, but a little lighter because sometimes I find the Titan Buff just a little bit too dark. So that's this color. Then I have Van Dyke Brown where I added a little bit of orange to make it a, a warmer color. This is orange. This is the... Um, the premixed turquoise.
that's this one this is deep turquoise and it is a opaque color as you can see here opaque but I put in some uh, titanium white so this is the, the pure color and this is where you add a little bit of titanium white and then you get I'll show you the difference this is the difference see that so I like that then I got the um, permanent green which I added a little bit of uh, transparent yellow to make it more greenish yellow I like that color and I have a cadmium yellow uh, I think it's a, a middle let me check yeah this one cadmium yellow deep hue that's uh, also half transparent and it is uh, number 115 should work so that's about the wrap up of this video so I will just see how this is gonna go so I hope this my husband made it smooth and that no holes are in there because otherwise it's gonna come out we'll see if it comes out it comes out can't do anything about it I don't see it leaking yet oops maybe it was would be better if I put some silicone in the paint because we would like a couple of cells right I'll just put a drop in there to make sure and I'm going to put uh, the silicone in the white in the light titanium uh, sorry about that light turquoise and in the dark turquoise so there's no silicone in the yellow and the green people are asking me why I'm doing that well I'll tell you uh, I just do it to make it different I don't know I don't know if it gives different effects I, I don't know it's just a lot of experimenting so I think everyone should experiment just see what happens you do one pour within every color silicone and then you do a pour with only silicone in one color it should give you some nice effects so putting it all in I don't see anything leaking yet not yet I'm gonna fill it up to the top a little bit more of the white and the last one is going to be the dark turquoise now I'm going to pull it up a little bit hope you can see it that is kind of cute and funny now I'm going to go and mix it up some more oh I see some beautiful cells popping up Wow, look at that. Now I've got to really take it off really fast. Oops. Don't like that. That is, that is a shame because I don't like that middle bit. The rest I sort of like. Well, not totally. I do have my corner catcher. Let's do some corner catching. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> Just on the paper. Okay, and anyone wondering um, what I'm using as pouring medium, that's my own recipe that I did two videos ago. So if you're interested in that, Go check it out. That's it. All the corners filled. Yes, they are. That is beautiful. Putting that away. Well, it is kind of different, right? Let me clean off my hands. Turn on this thing. And I'm going to let it um, warm up just a little bit.
gonna get some sort of a plastic cover for it before it totally gets covered in paint. Okay, let's see, what do we think about this? I don't like this middle bit. I just don't. Other than that, I think it's nice. This is a lot of lacing that's going on. This is pretty. I can live with this. I like that, but I don't like this. So what can we do? Hmm. Now I'm not gonna be adding gold, so don't worry. Sit down. Don't jump on jump up and down. No, I'm not. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pour it off there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pour that off there. I don't like it. So I'm gonna put some in a cup. And I'm gonna be using nice light colors. But I have to use, of course, brown. Or we won't be able to see that it belongs there. Some orange. And some yellow. And I'm going to give it a little swirl with a stick. And I have a big fly up here, which I will have to catch in a bit. Okay, let's keep, let's keep all that. Let's pour it from down here. I'm hoping it'll do something pretty. I had to put in a little bit more because, or dump on it a little bit more because um oh wow now i like this better than the whole painting <laughs> Well, we know that the heat tool works, right? That is uh, that is cool. Oh, now I like I like that. Now I'm gonna do the same up here. Can't help it. Or I can let it come down a bit. Wow, that's giving a different effect. And it's all about experimenting, right, guys? Doesn't always have to be really pretty. I do love the colors, especially uh, this bit up here. I love that. And going down again. I'm gonna make the uh, the upper left hand, I'm gonna make it even bigger. Now look at that, that is pretty. I can live with this, yes, without the gold. No, I, I would like gold. You know where I'd like gold? Right down here. Only there. No, no maybe up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am such a gold freak. I think that would look really pretty if I put one long one right over there. Oh, look in the cup. That is amazing. Oh, you can't see it, but there's so many cells in there. That's just too pretty. Yep, it needs gold. And I have some cleaned syringes. Mixing up the gold again, because this was from, I think this, this gold I have here that's from uh, about, I don't know, five, six days ago. As long as you put a lid on it, you can use it. It's not going in as I expected, so I think I will have to put it in from the other side. But that's no problem at all. One more scoop. 
There we go. Can I even put it back in? Yes, I can. Okay, here we go. Oh, I dropped some. Now I'm hoping it's going to spread. I really am. I'm hoping it's going to spread. So one more line over here to attach this line. And I'm going to come back again. Okay, that looks pretty. And now I got two drips over here. Why does it keep dripping when I'm not pushing anymore? Let's see, let's put another one in. Gotta make it look like it's intentional a little bit. I'm getting quiet because I have to really watch out what I'm doing. I don't want to press too hard because then too much comes out and I don't want to put too little because then it doesn't look good anymore. That's it. Okay. I might um, come back again and make these a little bit bigger, but that depends on how they're going to be spreading. But from this point of view, I think it is a pretty picture. And I'm looking at the screen and I'm hoping that uh, when I see it on my monitor, it'll be better, but the colors are not really showing very well. I will give you a close-up. Maybe that helps a little bit. Look at that. Is that beautiful? I am very, very, very pleased with what happened. Only the, uh, the gold dots, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, but I'll do that offline because I want to be really careful how I do it. But I am really loving these colors. Really, really loving the colors. And how they go together. Yeah, I think I might come back down here and here put a one band of gold over here. Yeah, just to get it all together. But it is really, really pretty, isn't it? Look at that. And this is, of course, is all done with the heat tool. So if you guys want to see here it is hot air gun um, I go to um, eBay and type in uh, hot air gun or you'll get those big ones but uh, you can also put in heat tool and you'll get this one so that's what this uh, tool did it works okay guys I'm gonna leave you and I'll see you back later and I'll show you what I um, eventually did with this painting. So see you back in about an hour later.